What's up guys? It's a new month and a new update video. I'm currently out on a walk with this little guy right here. Um, so, I mean, there's been some pretty big improvements right now. I'm in the middle of the, the strength building phase, which is just doing a lot of single leg lifting and some traditional lifting. And I started adding in some jujitsu and boxing, which is super exciting, but I am still limited in some of the movements that I do. So for this video, I think I'm just going to insert clips of the things that I've been doing, kind of getting you guys caught up on the details of what I'm allowed to do, why we're doing it this way, um, and then going over the things that I still need to work on. And hopefully I haven't gone in for my PT appointment this week yet. But I'm hoping to hear that I can start adding in running. Now, I've never been the biggest fan of running. It's never been something that I've used a whole lot. But it is like the next big physical accomplishment that we can start adding in. And it would really mean a lot to me to be able to do that because it means that I've been putting in the right amount of work. Physical therapy has been helping. And it just means that I'm that much closer to going back to what my normal was and in competition and all those things that I really really want to get back into so you know as soon as I get that update I'll uh, let you guys know what the verdict is at the end of this clip so enjoy I'm going to keep this voiceover short and sweet, just like I've done with these clips and sped them up. They're really not the most exciting thing to look at, and hearing a voiceover really isn't either, so I'm going to try to make this as painless as possible. But these are just some of the basic clips of what a typical exercise might look like in a day, and I do switch it up pretty often so I don't get bored. But I'm still focusing a lot on that single leg workout so i will do an exercise that isolates one leg just to make sure that i'm still not trying to overcompensate with that good right leg and then here is a specific exercise that they did mention and want me to continue because i do struggle to go downstairs because i don't have that control or the strength in my leg to safely go down and i'm often finding myself landing pretty hard on my right leg also with this next exercise it is a little bit of going into explosive and dynamic movement for sport. And then last but not least, I will try to incorporate at least one or two double leg movements where both of my legs get to work at the same time just to start getting used to having them both work together and making sure my form is really good. So I'm always very vigilant about where my weight is going and which leg um, is supposed to be doing what it's doing and also not overcompensating on one side or the other. So I have been cleared to start adding in more weights to all of my workouts, which is really exciting. And I'm hoping that I can start doing everything now to do more lifts and more sport centric stuff. All right, so um, here's the last update of the video. I just had my physical therapy and I'm officially good to, to start running. Um, they actually put me on a treadmill and had me jogging. So I'm still not at a full like, you know, six mile run or whatever, but um, light jogging, walking. So they gave me a, a program to start implementing that more into my strength days. And it's super exciting. That means that I'm doing everything right in between these weeks where I'm not seeing my physical therapist consistently. And, you know, from here on, it's just being super consistent, adding in more weight and working a little bit harder to get just a little bit closer uh, to 100%. So I will see you guys next week with the following updates. And it's uh, it's been a long time. So hope you guys have enjoyed following me along um, with my therapy and getting back to normal. And we'll see where it goes from here. Thanks.